Hello friends. We know that you are probably doing a fantastic job looking after your tomato crops. But sometimes even after best care, pests can still infest your crop. But don't worry, we are here to help you. In this video, we are going to talk about some of the common pests that could infest your tomato crop during flowering stage along with the pest preventive measures to help you control them. Let's start with thrips. These tiny insects feed on leaves and fruits that is tomatoes. Thrips can spread tomato spotted wilt virus or tospor virus that can further harm your plant. To get rid of them, use Delegate, ideally at 1 ml per liter of water. You can also use Admire at the rate of 0.3 g per liter of water or Gracia at 0.8 ml per liter of water. Next up, aphids. These can cause mishapen or stunted leaves by sucking sap from tender leaves. We suggest using 0.3 ml of Confidor Super per liter of water or 0.5 to 1 ml of Movento Energy per liter of water. Red spider mites are also another common problem. They suck sap from the leaves, causing a reddish brown or bronze tone patches on the lower surface of the leaves. In case of severe infestation, you can find silken webbings of larva on leaves, fruits and flowers. Furthermore, the infested leaves and flowers could wither and dry, causing loss of fruits. For effective control of red spider mites, we recommend a foliar spray of fluoromite at a dosage of 0.5 to 1 milliliter per liter of water. You can also use pyromite at the rate of 1 to 1.25 milliliter per liter of water or 2 ml of magister per liter of water. White flies can also wreak havoc to your tomato crops, causing distorted and malformed leaves. Downward curling and drying up of leaves is yet another symptom. Typically, the infested plant appears stunted and bushy with shorter internodes. To control white flies, we recommend using Pegasus at a dosage of 0.5 to 0.75 grams per liter of water as foliar spray. You can also use 1.5 to 2 grams of Lancer Gold per liter of water or Confidor at the rate of 1 milliliter per liter of water. Next up are mealybugs. This can be found on twigs and leaves of tomato plants. They appear as white cottony clusters and excrete a waxy substance that looks like sticky honeydew. Mealybug feed on sap of tomato plants which can weaken the plant. To control mealybug, foliar sprays such as transform at 0.7 ml per liter of water, dantotsu at 0.5 gram per liter of water or jump at 0.3 grams per liter of water can be used. Next on our list are pinworms or tuta absoluta. This pest enters the terminal buds, leaves and stems by mining surface tissues and flowers of tomato plant. Pinworms lay eggs on the underside of the leaves. The damages include mining between the upper and the lower surface of the leaves which can appear as a clear patch which is often partially filled with frass. The stems are also damaged with frass produced at stem nodes. The larvae bore into stem. To control pinworms, foliar spray of Belt Expert at a dosage of 0.3 to 0.5 ml per litre of water, Viago at 0.5 ml per litre of water, or Exponus at 25 ml per acre are recommended. Another pest that you need to watch out for is Serpentine Leaf Miner. It attacks the leaves, making them appear like a twisted mess of maggot-like mines. These pests cause leaves to curl, dry out and eventually fall off. You can use a foliar spray of Sandvex at 1.5 to 2 grams per liter of water or Ampligo at 0.5 milliliters per liter of water or Volume Targo at 1 milliliter per liter of water to keep this pest away. Finally, we have root knot nematodes that can infiltrate the plant root and cause major damage. They cause root knot galls, stunted root growths, and can drain out the nutrients from the plant, eventually killing the entire plant. 
To keep this deadly pests away from your tomato crop, you can use Velum Prime at 250 to 300 milliliters per acre during 55 to 60 days after planting. Alternatively, you can enrich your farmyard manure with bio pesticides by mixing 2 to 3 kilograms each of Trichoderma, Pseudomonas, and Pesiliomyces in one ton of FYM and leave it in shade for 15 days at 25 to 30 percent moisture for multiplication of beneficial microbes. You can use this mixture before transplanting the tomato seedlings. So there you have it friends. Keep your tomato plants away from pests by following these expert recommended solutions. Just remember to follow the dosages carefully and watch your plant grow for an abundant harvest. Hope this video was informative and helpful. We believe knowledge is the key to highly productive farming. For more such videos, visit kisanvedika.bigheart.com. If you have any queries, reach out to us on our toll-free number 1-800-3000-2434. Our agri-experts will be happy to help you. For purchasing the products mentioned in this video, visit bigheart.com. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, happy farming!